Hey everyone, Todd here, internalarchitect.com. In this video, I'm gonna do my best to answer the question, what does cancer smell like? I know this is kind of a strange one, but I think it's kind of important as we look into different ways of possibly diagnosing without having to go through so much invasive type of procedures and whatever. But before I start, go ahead and hit subscribe below and, and hit the bell for notifications. And at the end of the video, please leave a comment and let me know what you think and I'll respond to them as soon as I can. With that said, what does cancer smell like? I'm gonna be real honest with you. I have no idea, but I wanna take a look at this from a perspective of biology and then kind of bring in a little bit of other possibilities that this really, I think, can help. First of all, with the biology side of it, when your body is healthy and when you are feeling good, your immune system is doing everything right. It's killing off infection. It's killing off po possibly disease and you know sickness and whatever. So it's doing its thing. It's killing those cells that are multiplying and killing off all the, the bad stuff that's going on, right? As we get sick, as let's say cancer kind of starts to overwhelm our bodies, it makes sense to me that there is a chemical change going on with your body trying to fight it and two, with the cancer growing. So my, my wheels are spinning and what it tells me is that your biology of your body is morphing into what will eventually be a diagnosis. Now, I think it's important to know that there has been some really good studies about dogs and even a couple humans being able to differentiate the smell of cancer and non-cancer patients and people. And there's actually a lot more studies that have been done about dogs, especially dogs using breath and urine and blood and skin samples to show that this is a possibility. I was reading an article, and why this, why this topic came up is I was reading an article about a lady that was able to sense her husband's Parkinson's 12 years before he was diagnosed. And she said that she could tell that his skin changed smell. I don't know. My nose definitely spends more time being stuffed up due to probably altitude and allergies and whatnot. So I know that I can't smell anything very well. But this lady was able to smell her husband's change before, you know, again, 12 years before he was diagnosed with Parkinson's. And some people flew out from the UK to, I think it was California, and met up with her to do a blind study with her to see if maybe she could sense the difference in cancer patients. That was pretty cool, and the article goes on to just talk about the whole thing, how they went through through the study, how she kind of zeroed out, essentially, and was able to go through the test and have a very good success rate of the test samples of who had cancer and who did not. So that was really kind of cool, and that's why I brought this up, because I've seen this a number of times of like, what does can what does cancer smell like? And it, it made me think about some times that I was in right after my transplant. I was in the Presbyterian St. Luke hematology area, and right after my transplant, I remember smelling the smell of the chemical that they use to cryogenically freeze your blood stem cells. And for the next like 24 to 48 hours after my transplant, I could. I could smell that smell coming out of my, you know, as I would breathe because your body was, my body was expelling all that, that, those chemicals and whatever. And I remember it very vividly. It smells like, if anyone knows what cheese whiz smells like, when you open up that jar, right, the top of the jar, and you sniff it real quick, that's what it smells like. And I cannot eat cheese whiz today because of that smell. I don't know why, whatever, but yeah. So it makes me think that because I could smell something like that and I knew it and your body and my body was doing something to process it, that it probably makes sense that your body, as you are going through cancer before your diagnosis, that your body's biology is changing enough to to cause a different smell. And for someone or something that has a sensitive enough palate, they can smell this and they can they can sense this. And that's why the studies that have been done with dogs have shown a lot of really good examples of this and even that lady too. 
Now, there's also a little bit of uh, technology that's coming into play here, and there's an electric nose uh, that has done a lot of positive work also in detecting it through smell. Go figure. I don't know enough about that, but this article really kind of led me to wanting to just talk about this. So, do I believe that cancer smells? Yes. I can't smell it, but I think it could lead to some really interesting discoveries and possibly some diagnosing that can be absolutely non-invasive and be able to help get treatment rolling for those that might be dealing with it before it gets too out of control. So this might even really help with survivors in the long run when it comes to dealing with secondary cancers. So I thought this was kind of cool. So that's what I was thinking. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Hit me in the comment section below and let me know what you think. And yeah, just like continuing with, with this discussion and appreciate your time and your energy and watching the videos. And, you know, I will see you on the next one.